Hello, I'm Avery. This is Online Income Network. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can customize the layout on your YouTube channel. Now, you could customize this in order to make stuff private that you want to keep private. Also, it's possibility that you want some of your best work to show first. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. You can see right now I am already on a page called AVO. This is one of my old pages that I pretty much put on hiatus, but you can also see pretty much the only thing I got going on on my homepage is that I got a picture, a profile picture, got some channel art, and I got my uploads, which is pretty much what everybody's gonna have on their homepage is uploads. But you can also see on videos, I have plenty of videos. So what I can do here is just go straight customize channel. But if for some reason you don't see this here, you can go up into YouTube studio. Well, actually now I'm thinking about it. YouTube studio is right here. So, <laughs> so you go to customize channel or you can go to YouTube studio and you can get the customize channel through YouTube studio by going to settings. And then you go to channel and then you'll see customized channel at the bottom. So both ways take you here. The next thing I want to do is go into my channel settings. So what I'm going to do is go over into this little cog, click on that. And you can see in channel settings right in the middle, it says customize the layout of your channel. So you want to make sure that this is turned on. If it's not, just go ahead and click it on and then press save. So now I am able to actually go ahead and customize my channel. So the first thing I want to do before I start customizing the channel itself is I want to go ahead and change my profile picture. So I'm going to go up here and start to change my profile picture. Let's go ahead and edit. And from here, I already have some pictures up. So I can go ahead and use this one. Bam. So I'm good on that. And I can just exit back out. There's a change soon enough. So let's go ahead and go and change my channel art. Now you have upload, you have upload photos, you have photos that are already up and then you have a gallery. You can see that this is the picture from the gallery that I already had. You'll more than likely see these exact same images when you uh, go to gallery. So if you don't have a channel art yet, and you're still trying to build one up, you can use one of these. Like this, but I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna use one of these. Let's just say I'm gonna use that one. Go with this. And I'm gonna select that. And I have some channel art up. This will change soon enough. And let's go to edit links. Right now I can go ahead and put in a description, but I'm gonna keep my description as is. What all you have to do is go over here to the pencil, go to edit, then put in what you wanna put in and then press done. You can put in an email if you have an email. And then you can put in some custom links if you have any. I don't want, I don't have any custom links I wanna put in for this channel. So I'm gonna leave it as is. And I'm gonna go back to home okay so i refreshed you got my channel art up and you got my profile picture is up now so the next thing i want to do is go down and i'm going to go to feature some content you see you have two different tabs one is for returning subscribers the other one is for new visitors so you have the featured content for returning subscribers and then you have a channel trailer for new visitors so I'm gonna go ahead and feature content right now. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down, pick a video that I got up here. I'm gonna go with the death montage. You see that I could have added a heading on that, but I decided not to, but I actually do wanna edit. I'm gonna go back to edit. And instead let's go with, where is the other one? I'm gonna go with this one turtles in time and I'm gonna add the heading this time on this one and I'm gonna say our blazer stays Dan because 
All Blazers was the one that was dying for the most part throughout this video. And if you're watching All Blazer, you died a lot. Don't even try to deny it. So, when I'm done, I just want to press save. And I'm done with my featured video. I want to go to new visitors and put in channel trailer. I don't have an actual channel trailer. You don't gotta put one up here, you know. You can put something else, put anything up here. Just put another video. So, just go put a different video. Which is super punch out knockout. Super punch out <laughs> knockouts. It's death montage, which is just knockouts. Uh featuring art blazer as well, too, by the way. I don't have I don't have the chance to put that in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that. So I got my for new visitors, I got that, and then for the returning subscribers, I got that. Next thing I want to do is go over to featured channels. I want to add a channel to feature. I can go ahead and put in select URL. But if I want to change featured channels, I can and put, hey, subscribe here or something like that, you know. Uh, I'm going to take my own channel, Online Income Network. I'm going to take the URL from here and I'm going to go ahead and paste it into here and press add. And then you can see Online Income Network here. Now, if I had more channels up here, what I could do is take this and then I'd be able to move it around to show which one shows up first at the top. And then over here, you can just exit. Click the X to delete it. But this is good, so I'm just gonna press done. You can see that it pops up over on the right. All right, so now that we did that, now we got uploads right here. And we got add a section right under it. I could go to edit and take this one down, but I'm going to leave the uploads up and I'm going to just add a section. I want to add a couple of sections right here. So one of the things I want to do is go to, I could do popular uploads, but I don't want to do popular uploads. I could do live streams, live now, upcoming live streams. But first thing I want to do is do create a playlist and I'm going to have it horizontal. But if I wanted vertical, I can do vertical as well. So it looked like that being vertical so i'm going to go back to horizontal and i'm going to press done i want this at the top just like that actually i want something else right above it something else that you could do is go to when you do select content you can do custom grouping and you can add channels and then once again you can add channels that you want to be right here instead of having them over on the right so let's go ahead and put back in my url so i'm gonna have my online income network all over this and i'm gonna put subscribe here subscribe to my other work I would probably put come see my other work or something like that, but this is good. I mean, I'm just doing the tutorial. So you can see that it has it right here. It's a preview. I'm press done. And there it is. Online income network. Subscribe to my other work. I won't put this all the way at the top instead. Not really. If I was really going to do this, I'd probably put it at the bottom. Because I want to, you know. I want people to see my actual work on this channel first before telling them to come check out this one. But yeah, let's go to a different one. I want to put at least one more. And I'm going to do live streams. And once again, I can have them horizontal or vertical. Pass live streams. And let's just do this one horizontal. Let's do this one vertical just to change it up. Let's go to done. I have that. One thing I want to say about create a playlist, uploads, and past live stream. They go from the most recent to the oldest videos. So you're not going to be able to manipulate these. But what you can do instead is go into the add section. And then you can go into multiple playlists. So instead of having to create a playlist, you could customize the playlist yourself up here. And I'm going to add five playlists right now 
Actually, I'm just going to go with four and then I can go ahead and hover over it and then drag and drop them to have them wherever I want them. And then I can press done, but need to add a section title first so I can say uh, more gameplay or something like that. Or games. <laughs> All right. So more games and press done, press done again. And you can see that I have these right here, exactly where I want them. Let's go back, bring this up. And you can see that the layout is different than create a playlist. And I can go ahead and get rid of create a playlist if I wanted to do so. Let's do a single playlist this time. And I'm going to go with Def Montage. And I'm pressed done. Okay, you can see I got five different videos up here. But let's say I don't want this last one right here. I don't want that up. So what I'm going to do is go to my playlist and I'm going to take this one out of the top five. Instead, I'm going to put Mega Man Death Montage up at the top five. In doing that, all I got to do is refresh. And you can see now the top five is looking exactly how I want them. So that's everything I want to show off today. The channel went from looking pretty basic and really not looking like it had a lot going on for it to really looking like it was more professional and it had a lot more content for people to see. So hopefully the information was useful to you. If it was, why don't you go ahead, like, subscribe, share with a friend, click the bell notification so you can get notified when new videos come out for me because I make new videos every week. Also check out the YouTube help desk playlist because I got more tips on YouTube like this one here and all that being said thanks for watching